Hi everybody and welcome back to more Dragon Quest X. Thanks for joining me. I'm Noaria. And we are headed to the inn in Glen to talk to a sage about what to do next. To cure the king. This one, but we'll loot it on the way. More gold. Some barrels. That's a pretty cool looking set of armor. Thank you, Nathan. Same to you. Alright, he's got, yep, there we go, cutscene trigger. So you've come, Mel. There's no time, so I'll be frank. The reason for King Bogdo's behavior being strange Um, short temper is being caused by a looks like a magical illness by by evil forces basically Because he had such a harsh reaction to the two of us, both to you and to me, to the, uh, the holy power that resides within the both of us, is proof of that. Like, have you heard of basically the evil disease? comes from an evil fog. If 
it gets near monsters, it increases their strength many times. Uh, if humans touch it, they lose their lives or their hearts are flooded with evil. This long forgotten evil disease. has been revived and placed on the land again by the demon Nurgle. Mel, are you prepared to save this country? What's necessary to get rid of the evil disease plaguing King Bagdo is, tell me, no, forget about it. What's necessary is the grail of Demur, Demuru, Demur. It is sleeping deep in Bacon Valley, which is in the northern portion of the area west of Glen. Bacon Valley, my favorite place in this game. No, it's not. It's just fun to say. It's not something that's easily retrieved. Make sure you prepare yourself well before you go. Once you get the grail, then we will meet here again. Oh, thanks, Ashes. I just threw some text in the game logo onto one of my screen caps from my main character. Leather pants. Anything down here? Haha! -ha! Some more ore. That's out the left side of town. The quest to get the new zoom stone is out the east side of town and we happen to be right near the east exit right now. So I think I'm gonna do that first. I have to go out and kill an armored knight. Where are my supplies? Should be okay. All right, we'll do that first. Once we accomplish that before I zoom back to town here, I will zoom to my house and show you that. I bought a house off screen. How's everybody doing today? It's been two weeks since the last stream. Hope everybody had 
an enjoyable time over the holidays. I was away from my computer a lot, so I didn't have a chance to stream really in between Christmas and New Year's. A lot of seeing my in-laws and their extended family. Ash is sleepy. I did, I had a lot of fun. I, I got amazing gifts for Christmas. It was very nice of my family. A lot of games, so you can tell this year is going to be full of video games. I know the knights are in the back of this area. I want to check around the edges as well for any treasure chests. There you are. And there's a chest. Royal soil. He's gonna get me. I'm actually quite surprised I managed to outrun him in that little dead end there. I thought there was one more chest over this way. I could be wrong. Could be getting it mixed up in my head with all of the. Shiny things. Okay, let's take on a knight. That's not great. too hard either. Alright. And we did it. We dropped a rusted sword. Which we picked up and put in our key items. I wonder if that's the the sword of the old man's partner that he said couldn't make a dent in the armor. Okay, now to show you my house. Ah, this is an NPC that I will explain at a later time. So I chose one of the housing areas um, off of Orfea in the, the, the Pukupo area. This is called the Flower Garden for obvious reasons. It was more of a peaceful and pretty housing area. Um, it has both large and or small and medium sized plots but there are no medium-sized plots available right now so I just bought a small one have a little flower garden I don't think I put anything else outside yet 
take a look inside. Nechan wants a house in the flower garden area, but wants an M plot. Well, they did just open up some housing in one of the other more expensive cities that once you buy something there you can't move out so maybe some people if they have the gold will be making that trade up so the inside's still pretty bare have a apocryphal bed and um, closet set up in here i can put extra items in here i mostly have a bunch of my old equipment or extra equipment that I don't need right now stashed away um, but if you have a house and you put a bed in it you can rest for free it's letting me know that if I bother to go stay at an inn I will raise my uh, reputation level because I've gained enough points to do so but we'll save that for the next time I need a heal there are a lot of things you can do with your house. I'll go into some of those at a later time, but just wanted to show off that I did go and buy a house. So I'll head back to Glen. But I think before moving on with the plot here, I'm going to head back over to Vendoa and hand in the quest that I just finished so I can get another zoom stone because I think that'll be handy to have. button too fast. I don't want to go to Gillette. I'm going to head to Mandela. <clears throat> and we want to exit on the north side of town. have defeated an armored knight. Ho ho ho. That rusty sword that you're carrying, will you show it to me? Sure. So we handed over the sword. As I thought, this sword... I see, so that's what happened. There's no way I would mistake it. This is my partner's. It was his sword at that time when we parted. When we were fighting the monster, he said to run. I wanted to run away together. I wanted us both to run. in the same direction, but he said we'll split off and to two paths in different directions and meet up again in Vendoa. I believed in his words and I've been waiting in this town 
ever since. Thank you. I've finally been able to meet up with my partner again. This will be the end of my journey. I also don't need this zoom stone anymore. As promised, I'll give it to you. points. We can replay this quest for memory bells to exit dungeons. Right now this zoom stone has the port town Mendoa saved in it. If you want to change it, just take it to a church. From here on, I will take my time reliving my memories of traveling with my partner. Because you were able to bring them here. Ho, 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 ho. Kind of sad. And there's the stone. We'll head back to Glen here. Oh, I missed the clapping animation. Was it silly? I was too busy looking at the text. Okay, so we need to head out the west side of town. And I believe there's one other important thing we need to do out in the west side of town. I'm going to bank my money. This is a lot of gold. Just in case. Yeah, I've been in... I've been on server 21 this whole time, Ashes. I've been on this server since a couple streams back. enough for now. Bay! Welcome! Twitch told on you. Now, what am I doing? I do want to go out the west exit. And I want to pick up this quest in the bar first. Okay, Ashes, you don't need to follow Minnie Mel around. Especially if you're busy. Okay, so I want to be able to change classes. So, out in the west side of Glen, in the southern area, there is a pass that we should go to. There's an old windmill that continues to spin. And there's a golem that's on the ground there that we need to defeat and bring back what it drops to this priest here. Oh, I was reading the uh, the quest scroll and the guy's saying the same thing now. If you do that, then we'll be able to change classes. Which is cool. This is one of the first games I've ever played that allows you to, well, 
MMOs that I've played that allows you to be every single class on a single character. So really, you can do everything in the whole game on just one character. Alright. Anything over here? Barrels. Any treasure over here? Well, there's shiny things to pick up. It's horse manure in pots. Yeah. I mean, at least in this game, it's got some use. In some of the other games, it's just there to be a nuisance and take up bag space. So, for the story, we need to head north. And I think to start with. I'd like to head south and take care of killing this golem. Fight this gizmo. And apparently one shot it. I may be a little bit over leveled for this area. But not strong enough to fight that event boss. short sword. That'll be nice whenever I decide to play a, a thief or something along those lines. <laughs> it says, you probably shouldn't fight this right now. But let's give it a try anyway. That bodes well. That bodes real well. Oh no, he put up a magic barrier. I 
very crazy event boss is kind of super hard. But the game's been out so long that they probably don't expect you to try it with low level characters. I'm not gonna get away in time, so I might as well just try and. What happened to his spell? He started chanting a spell and then he just hit me. Did I interrupt it? Yeah, we got him. But I have no magic left. Oh, triggering anger cancels the cast. I see. That's good to know. But isn't triggering anger kind of random? So it was just, I guess, lucky on my part that it happened to get triggered when he was going to cast a spell and I wasn't going to be able to get away in time. there's more than one. All right, here goes. Big surprise I don't have enough weight to hold him back. I'm a healer. It's just going to be faster if I warp back to town, I think. I don't particularly want to change classes yet, but since we're passing through Glen at this point in the story, it seemed like a good time to take care of doing it. Gollum is meant for old school level 20. And when you're at level 20, I don't know why you'd want to worry about changing class. I just want to build up the one I've got. I'll drop it off the next time I go to the bar, probably at the end of the stream. Bacon Valley. Oh, 
fight one of you guys before? No. I'm gonna fight one of you now. Yeah, I know a level cap in the beginning of the game was 50, but I still feel like even where I'm at at, at 38 is still kind of low for being able to take on some of the challenges, so unless you were planning to go back to some really low level stuff to grind up the lower levels of a new class. I don't know why you'd necessarily want to go through the trouble of, of uh, class changing so soon in the game. I, yeah, it was slower to level up. Genkidama were harder to come by and there weren't the um, monster gate quests. Gold was also really hard to come by. I think I'm going to... Hmm. I could switch my Rendoa or my Azvan. Switch the Azvan one. I don't know if I'm going to need to head back into Bacon Valley later. But just in case, this will make the trip a bit quicker. Here we go. Oh, I was hoping this dead end would have some treasure. Dracky Mage! They make such cute sounds. We've already fought one of you guys. Yeah, when you're low level, everything in this game wants to kill you. Let's see, what's the best way to get there? Head straight north, I think. Yeah, uh, starting as a weddy is, no joke, the hardest. The monsters in the areas you need to go through are just not... They're so hard. You would have to grind level grind a stupid amount compared to the other other races. Bone Dragon, I'm pretty sure that's out of my league. No! I wanted to get close enough to ask the game if it was a stupid move, but he aggroed on me, so we'll just run away for now. I didn't think they were on this continent anywhere but the Dragon Graveyard. 
charm bat. I can guess what skill these things do. else here? Okay, we'll go towards the spooky floating lights. Oh, if it were me, I'd have hidden some treasure behind that pillar. But they hid some over here. Is it magic water? It's magic water. That probably means we've got a boss fight coming. On the other side of that vortex. Heal up. Pretty close to full. All right, let's go. Oh, I should have put a Genki Dama on. Oh well. skeletons we've arrived they ran away oh they're back I always thought that bit was amusing it's like I'll take that thank you uh, who is it has come to steal my grail. I see. You've come from Gartland, have you? My name is Sword I think I've seen it translated as Swordmaster, but it's like Swordsman Orin. If you want the Grail of Lemuru, your only hope is to defeat me. not give it to anyone. I'm gonna try for strong. We'll see how it goes. I don't remember him being a pushover, but I think we'll be able to start. Take care of the small fries first.
Oh, that didn't, wasn't hurt at all. Level 39. But we didn't get any skill points. Boo. Can I take that sword with me? I'm my grail. That apparently lived inside his rib cage or something. So now we have the Holy Grail of Lamaru. Probably a cursed sword. Yeah. Probably. I don't think he dropped any treasure, but I'll run around here a little bit and check. No, I don't see anything. Just use a bell. Checking the map a little bit. All right, back to town. Bring this chalice to the inn and see what Sage has to say about it. of the inn. You are Mel, correct? I have a message for you from Master Eidos. Would you like to read it? Uh, yeah, you read it. I'm not entirely sure where you pulled that from. Sorry for the rush, but I had to head off on a journey. I'm sure you'll be able to get the chalice of the, well, the Holy Grail of Namadu with no problems. Next, take the Grail and head far to the southeast. Um, if you go south, out of East Glen, you will come to the Gelt Ocean Cliff Pass. Keep going to the southeast. You'll reach the Landon Mountains. And in the southeast of there, you will come to the lake above the clouds. Okay. A lot of south and east there. Once you're there... You will have to find this mysterious tree called the... The glorious tree, which the eye cannot see. If 
you will need to gather some of the dew that that tree drops and bring it back. Only the glorious dew held within the holy grail of Nemru will be able to cure the evil sickness. If you make the king drink it, then he will be healed. However, there is a fearsome dragon at the lake above the clouds. You're going to have to take care of it. Be careful. <laughs> I wish you'd have led with that. Oh, that's just like Master Eidos. Able to say how the king can be cured. How wonderful. She's fawning over him. Right. We've got another journey. I'll rest up at the inn before we head out. Yeah, thanks a lot, Eidos. Sorry for leaving. Go fight a dragon. We got two levels of reputation. Good. All right, so we have to head out the east side of town, head south, go southeast some more. Go for it. Go do all these things that sound impossible, and oh by the way, there's dragon too, so just take care of that. Yeah. Well, I mean, we probably wouldn't have had to fight the dragon originally, but it sounds like it's going to get in the way of us actually collecting this dew, so... We've got no choice. Alright, to the south, to Gelt. Ah, she's adorable. Savannah Wood. If I'm not mistaken, this particular area of the map, just kind of south of that bridge, um, you can run into muddy hands. Ah, I have too much stuff. Because I have four stacks of magic water. Okay. I need to increase my inventory space, which I think I will be able to do once I get my reputation up to level 10.
that case, I'm not going to bother looking around too hard for treasure. I've got no space. Oh, I didn't mean to get into an actual fight. I was just going to get close enough to check if I've killed any of these guys before, but I guess now I'm fighting them. Probably the way to a treasure chest or something, but I will pick it up later. I know there's an inn up here. I'm hoping there's a bank so I can drop off some of these crafting materials that I've picked up. Perfect. Aha! I see. I have a second storage area now at the bank after buying a house. I'll drop off a couple of these stacks of 99. We don't really have enough gold to drop off, so we'll leave that for now. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, this gentleman here. Yep. <clears throat> Apparently this uh, ocean cliff is famous for its bungee jumping. And if you do it, you'll get a stat boost in battle for 30 minutes. Occasionally your tension will go up. There are a lot of people who do this before they head into battle. Cost 50 gold? Sure. Alright, then close your eyes. Now then... You can see an island with a weird shape out there, right? That island is called Gamilgo's Shield Island. A long time ago, it was a place where the kings of Gartland and Glen formed an alliance. I don't know the details though. Now then, let's get started. Countdown. Three, two, one. Bungee. Okay, even seeing this in video game form freaks me out just a little. Fear of heights is real. There you go.
Has that awoken your sleeping sense of bravery? Heroism. If you feel like it, come again. Alright. So that little sun looking icon on my head down there in the corner is the buff that I've got for 30 minutes. Okay, so we need to head toward the Landon Mountains, which is the south east exit of this cave. I have not fought one of these guys. It's already working. It gave me a tension boost at the start of the fight. Death Bash! Welcome! Yeah, if you're weirded out by that bungee thing, I I can sympathize. What did I oh these floating ghosts? So not a fan of those guys. I think next time, next stream would be a good time to uh, head over and see the mini metal king. All right, so we're headed to the lake above the clouds. Kill one of everything. They're so fluffy and cute, though. Dang, those hawks sound really loud in my ear. I hope they're not bothering you guys too much. It's snowing. Come on. They're so cute. They're not too loud for you guys? Okay. That's good. <laughs> this is what winter looks like where I'm originally from. What are you oh, it's those moko moko things. They can curl up into balls. That's adorable. Haha. <laughs> Look like jiggly snowballs. Yeah, Yeti. Ooh, some deer out of it. We cannot own a blizzard axe. Plus two. Flower. I don't know what that would be doing in a chest in a snow area, but...
Yes, more treasure! <laughs> Not even gonna come after me, I can just take it. Monster hide. Silver ore. Is that a lump of snow? It was probably perma snow. That's, I think, what they call it in the English. Check out this little. It over here. Haha! -ha. Money! Can never have too much money in this game. Alright. Um. Okay. There's a treasure over here. Magic water, you know what that means. I don't think we need to reset a stone here. Yankidama might be a good idea. All right, then, here we go. Like above the clouds. Everything's frozen. Ah, the trees under the lake. And there is indeed a dragon. Looks like Leviathan. Last one wasn't too hard. Let's go. You water dragon, Gilgish. one person at a time. the last shot. And 20,000 XP. Nice. Oh. 
I'm sorry, dragon. I didn't want to have to kill you. But I guess I needed to. Because that was the only way for the tree to appear above the surface of the lake. Quick, get the grail out. Alright, so we've got the dew in the grail. Ooh, purple treasure chest. Now the tree's gone again. Ooh, Chogenki Dama. Taking a look at the scenery. It's kind of nice. Still looks freezing cold though. Alright, back to Glen. Okay, we're back. We have to make the king drink this dew from a tree in the middle of nowhere. Edolf, will you let me in? Oh, you're. I heard about everything from Master Eidos. Did you bring the Glorious Dew? So he's letting us in. You're done. So I've been waiting, Mel. Were you able to get the do? I heard from Master Idos. If we have the king drink it, then he'll heal. Please give it to me. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to get him to drink it, so... This will bring King Bagdo back to normal. Thank you very much, Mel. It is our duty to make sure the king drinks this. Please watch from right there. This can only go well. Chancellor's freaking out. Such tense music. Why you, what in the world are you doing? Yeah, yeah, especially the one on the right looks like he's caught 
Red handed. Don't get any closer to me with that dirty liquid. Or your lives will be forfeit. Please forgive us, King Bagdo. Forgive you for this. Zumbo, hurry. Give the due to the king. It was kind of like a red, weird version of red light, green light, but. <laughs> Just getting close to the king and looking like that is going to be suspicious. Stop! Stop, I tell you! Ah. He's breathing heavily. Chigri Ch Chancellor, what in the world have I? Oh, my lord, you've returned to normal. I don't believe it. That terrible headache has disappeared. That awful headache that I thought would last forever. So relieved that a day could come when I feel this refreshed. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Nathan, but I don't think the king ever wears more clothes than this. Oh, the necklace. Does anyone know what happened to my necklace? I'm afraid to report this to you, but but that necklace caused you to be cursed near death. What? That can't be. That necklace was... A sign of friendship from Gartland Castle. It was part of a, a gift, a show of gift. Um, Gartland wouldn't do such a thing as sending a cursed item as a gift to show friendship. Yes, I think so too. I believe that someone outside of Gartland was aiming for your life. cursed necklace couldn't be removed from around your neck and gave off a
a suspicious kind of light. Um, the, the priests were unable to do anything except watch over you as you got weaker and then one day all of a sudden a rather large human woman appeared it was the sage marine said that she'd heard rumors about what had happened and that if we wanted to save your life we would shut up and let her do what she could she chanted some kind of spell and just like that, the necklace that we couldn't remove no matter what we tried came off quite easily. And then she said that it contained um, a stone, an evil disease stone, so it already said that the evil disease was basically made up of a fog that would curse you to death or near death if you touched it. So I'm guessing the stone was made up of that same stuff that the fog was, just in a solid form. Um, Marine said that eventually the king would have died wearing it. Then she cast a healing spell on the king. Once she made sure that he was going to be okay, then she said the necklace was dangerous and took it away from our kingdom. see that well-known great sage marine healed me it wasn't just marine Um, this person here, Mel, was the one who got the glorious dew and was able to free you from the headaches. And Lord Eidos was the one who had the knowledge on how to heal you that enabled Mel to do so. What? A Master Eidos was here? I have no memory of this. No matter what kind of terrible headache it was, it shouldn't have... In any case, it appears that I've caused many people great trouble while I was out of it. Now I thank you and everyone else. As thanks, I'll give you this key emblem. Mm. Oh. Q. 
key emblem would be a reward, but the key emblem is a sign of a hero. Is it really something that should be given just for curing a headache? It really should be for something greater that saves the country. What? I declared war on Gartland Castle? If that's true, then... If it weren't for this person's work, our country would... If that's the case, then I understand. Mel, I am grateful to you from the bottom of my heart. What you've done is deserving of the reward of the key emblem of Glen Castle. Please accept it. We got the black key emblem. Black Key Emblem proves that you're a hero of Glen. It will be a proof to those in of your strength to those in other countries as well. Chancellor. What are you asking for? Make contact immediately. Report that the war against Gartland is cancelled. Everyone return to their daily lives. I understand. If a war had actually started, a great amount of blood would have been spilled across the continent of Ogdid. I'm glad that this ended without the citizens of Glen going through rough times. And most of all, that we didn't, we ogres did not commit atrocities against one another. Alright, everyone's happy again. More XP, some gold. Savior of Glen, you got a level which should have come with skill points. Got a bump in HP of plus 30 for all classes. Nice. I think it's going to tell us to go to Juliet now. Yeah. Is there anything else to do here?
was a blacksmith master that had a, a quest in the back room and I think the quest to become paladin. on the wrong circle. Arg. For now, let's go turn in that quest at the bar for the class changing. Those of you watching, is there anything else you wanted me to do around the Glen area before I head off to Weddy territory? brought back isn't all that special. If you carve stone it can become a weapon. If you hit it, it can create sparks to make a fire. If you pile them up, they can become a house that withstands the wind and rain. People don't have just one path open to them. There are many possibilities and things you can learn. And this is the start of that. Now you can walk the path of a new life, changing to other classes. All right. not a high enough level? Oh wait, no. There's no level requirement required for changing. You can change at any time. Visit a bar where there will usually be a priest at any time to change. Right now the classes available to us without doing extra quests to unlock any are warrior, which we already are, uh, cleric, mage, um, martial artist, thief, and minstrel. I'll just keep going with what I've got for now, thanks. I'm gonna head this way. I'm 
this particular person, her quest is she wants to... A teacher. Sorry for calling out to you all of a sudden. She's trying to become a actress. An actress, a famous actress. And she... She hasn't been able to find a good teacher to learn um, how to act off of, so she's in a bit of trouble. Will you please be my acting teacher and give me some lessons. So the thing that she's bad with is gestures. So she needs to see them done in front of her. So basically each day there will be a random gesture that she wants to see. And if you perform that in front of her, you can complete the quest. If you don't know the gesture she's asking for, come back another day and she'll probably be asking for one that you already know. She wants the wadao gesture, so the laugh, which I think is a standard one that everyone comes with. So we just need to perform it in front of her. I'll check my list and make sure we've got it. Uh, it also, you don't have to be the one that performs it. It can be someone who's in your party. And she's telling you how you can group up with other people. And you can do that. repeat this quest once a day. Last one on our list. That's that's adorable. Just now you really laughed. It's like my heart has opened up. <laughs> I can hear it. All of thousands. I think your acting was wonderful. I'll do my best to become closer to the example you set. Please accept this. We got a draw ticket. And some reputation points. Thank you very much. I feel like I will become closer to being an actress by continuing to study your acting skills. I will become the, the greatest actress um, good enough to stand on the royal stage in Granzadora in Landasia at the World Center. So please continue to guide me. I'm looking forward to the next lesson. All right. Can I do the gesture again?
<laughs> She's so cute. All right. seen that scythe before. Oh, the text is going by itself. So basically, I found you um, remains of Eterne. This time you won't escape me. What's that you've got on the stick there, Hodo? You were moaning a lot. Were you having a bad dream? It looked like you were having a bad dream. If you like, will you let me hear about it? Or tell me about it? So we told him about our dream. Yeah, it looked like some kind of sweets on a stick. I see. Nurgle said that in your dream. The situation is more serious than I thought it was. can't just be taking it easy. Next up is Gillette. Those customers getting off, please don't forget anything. Let's check around you one more time before we're leaving. Typical train announcement in Japan. Oh, I have to get the Specialty in, in Gillette Station, the, the Tokonatsu the Coconuts. Tokonatsu means unknown, so it's like the unknown coconuts. Uh Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're called. So that comes first. What you just said the situation is dire and you're you're going to buy snacks. You really need to collect up to 6 key emblems as soon as possible. Now I will continue with my preparations. Farewell for today. Let's meet again on the road of fate. Crossroads of fate. Yeah. That's a better translation. Arrived in Gillette. First time here. Yes, I will set my respawn point here.
So the Weddy are an ocean-loving race. So of course they're on the sea. The aesthetics of their towns are very nice. Where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go to Somia's house. I think we're expected to come in one of the other entrances and that would have given us a little bit more backstory into why we're going to this girl's house. Mm, that's about as warm as it should get. Good. Um, who are you? I'm Sonia. Do you have some business with me? I'm the only one here. There are no more no adults here. Right now my family is just that little one. I'm going out now, so please leave. Oh, that's right. If you're... The kind of... Kind of, uh, person who has it together enough to have proof of courage, then you should go to the mayor's house. It seems he's looking for a strong person. The mayor's house is in the northeast part of it's facing no it is to the right side of the church in the northeast part of town Okay, but I'm gonna look around a little bit first before I go. Nothing there. Nothing in the shelves. Nothing in the bookshelf. Okay. Sorry to have bothered you, Sonia. Nechan wants to hug her. She seems very sad. While we're heading up that direction, we'll probably take a minute to stop in the church and set a zoom stone here. Take the one that we set at the entrance to Bacon Valley and set it to here. There are 
three places in town we can set a zoom stone to the south exit the east exit or the sewing guild um, I think I'm going to set it to the south one for now. I can't remember which one is going to be handier as far as going back and forth with the town storyline. It turns out we're going in and out of the east exit a lot. I'll just come back and change that stone. Mayor's house is right up there. South is probably the best? Okay. okay there's the mayor. Guessing that's his wife, probably. I know you're in need of strong person, Mayor, but I'm gonna rummage around your house first before talking to you. Oh, you're a traveler. I am Bolden. I'm the mayor of Gillette. Everyone in town here has been on edge because of the cat-type monsters that have been prowling around the area. I'm busy coming up with a way to get rid of them. Do you have some kind of business with me? Oh, you heard that I was looking for someone from Somia. I see. You do seem pretty strong. And you carry proof of courage. You seem trustworthy. The truth is, there's something that I would like done. It's not the kind of thing I can entrust one of the villagers to do, so I'm in a bit of trouble. Yeah, cat-type monsters bothering the fish people village. First, let me hear your name. I see, you are Mel. Now then, Mel. Will you hear my request? There is a particular island um, with some that holds some knowledge sleeping within its ruins that I would like a certain person to reach safely. Will you do this for me? Okay. Well, you'll do it. The person, the particular person, is a guest that has come to my home, to my place. His name is Kina. <laughs> Peichan is not thrilled to see this guy. Mel here is willing to take on the request. This is Kina. He has come from Verinado Castle. He 
is here to main so maintainer of the ruins. Let me double check that real quick. Oh, he's in he wants to investigate the ruins. of the Perinado Royal Investigations Team. Sorry to bother you while well, this is such a busy time. But I must go to the Ruins of Sleeping Knowledge no matter what. Allow me to explain. The Ruins of Sleeping Knowledge are a very important place to us Weddy. But something terrible has happened. has been some sign of fault um, as in damage or some kind of change with that important place what is he doing I don't know he, he just does that little spin thing whenever he has some kind of long explanation to give it is not the first time you'll see it well, it is the first time you'll see it. It won't be the last. It's not the first time I've seen it. There is some fear that it will have a great impact on our future if the regularity is a far-reaching one. And that's why I am here. There are a lot of monsters around the ruins. And I can't get close to them. And so... The mayor wants us to... Make sure that Kina is able to reach the ruins safely. I promise a fitting reward if you are able to do so. I have some preparation. Kina says I have some preparations to make, so I'll be on my way. I will follow after you when you leave town. Don't worry. The flailing he was doing on the dialogue line. Oh, was that when he was talking about there being some kind of irregularity with the ruins? The ruins are on Dadis Island, Royal Island. From the south of, leave through the south of town to Muse Bay. Um, take a canoe there. From the docks. Counting on you. Oh. 
Okay. But we will have to go on that journey next time. Time's about up for this stream today. There's the bar down there. Okay. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you've had as much fun watching the game as I'm having playing it. Thank you for uh, follows, and we will be back probably next week. Um, I'll I usually tweet before I uh, finish or er, set up to do the streams. So uh, if you want to follow my Twitter, the link should be down below. Thanks for joining me, and we will see you next time.